conservative new media viewers, Jeremy Lin fans around the world, LA Lakers fans around the world. What's up? It's me, PFE, Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. And we're here to discuss the Lakers' 102-86 to defeat tonight to the Portland Trailblazers in Portland, Oregon. With a defeat, the Lakers fall to 13-40 and on the season. Portland improves to 36-17 and with their victory. Let's go over the stats quickly. The Blazers were led by Wesley Matthews, a shooting guard, 20 points, 5 rebounds. LaMarcus Aldridge, 18 points, 12 rebounds. Damian Lillard, 15 points and 8 assists. Myers Leonard came off the bench, 11 points and 7 rebounds. And Myers Leonard, who is over 7 feet tall, shot 3 of 5 from a three-point range. He's really developed a good outside shot, and uh, it's it's impressive. Uh, It might keep him in the league longer than he might have been otherwise. The Lakers got 17 points from Jordan Clarkson, six rebounds and four assists to go with that for Jordan, 16 points and eight rebounds from Wayne Ellington, 12 points from Robert Sacre, 12 points from Wesley Johnson. Jeremy finished up with Two points on a zero of six shooting. 21 minutes played. No three-pointers attempted. Two free throws made out of two attempts. One rebound, two assists, one steal. No block shots, no turnovers, two personal fouls. And his plus minus was a minus five. This was another game in which the Lakers didn't turn the ball over much. They only had 10 turnovers tonight as a team, which is, again, that's that's fantastic. I mean, that's, that's really playing well and taking care of the ball. Now, what happened in the game was Portland just kind of overmatched the Lakers. Portland won the first quarter by eight points. The teams are even in the second quarter, which means that Portland went into halftime up still eight points. And then in the third quarter, they just blitzed the Lakers. They just really turned up the defensive intensity. They they just cranked it up a few notches, and the Lakers couldn't stay with them. So after three quarters, the Blazers were up by 23 points. And then they just kind of coasted in from there. The Lakers did win the final quarter by seven points, but it didn't make any difference. The Blazers easily win the game by 16 points. Now, how did Jeremy do tonight? Look, I said this on Twitter, and I'll say it again here. And there are people who disagree with me, including Dragon Blood, on Twitter. I, I actually like the way Jeremy played in this game tonight. The reason why I like it is because he didn't try to do too much. After the game last night against the Nuggets in, in L.A., I believe that Byron Scott said that he thought Jeremy tried to do too much in that game. Um, uh, Yeah, I think he did try to do a little too much, which is how it ended up with the five turnovers. Tonight, Jeremy played more like a point guard rather than a shooting guard, which was he kind of gave the ball up and let other guys do more with it, like bigger guys or shooters or whatever. And I like that. Now, I I love it when Jeremy scores a lot, but he doesn't need to score a lot to be effective. Yes, he was 0 of 6 from the field, and people mention that he's not good shooting on back-to-back games and and such, uh, or he doesn't play well in in back-to-back games. That's probably true, but I'll tell you that Jeremy's shot was only slightly off tonight. He actually took pretty good shots, and his shot was mostly on target. These weren't like wild misses. So I really didn't have a problem with the shots that he took. And I love the zero turnovers. The way that you can tell when Jeremy's playing under control is when he has low turnovers. And the way you can tell when he's trying to do a little too much is when he has high turnovers. And you have to understand, Jeremy's... He's about six foot three. He's many times one of the smaller guys on the court. 
he's not going to explosively dunk over people and stuff, which means y you have to work within your limits. So if you're six foot three and you're playing with somebody who's six foot eleven who can dunk pretty well and pretty easily and maybe go through some people like somebody like Ed Davis or Tarek Black, let them shoot it. Now I'm not saying Jeremy shouldn't shoot. He doesn't need to shoot to be effective. One of the knocks on him over time has been that he plays too much like a shooting guard. He plays like a shooting guard, but he's undersized, and he's not really a point guard, and point guard instincts. Tonight I thought he played more like a point guard. I'm not saying he played a perfect game. I'm not saying I don't want him to score a lot of points or take a lot of shots, but he played within himself tonight particularly after last night's game with the turnovers and kind of he was just too casual with the ball in my opinion tonight he didn't do that now Lynn Spired LA did mention that he could have had two turnovers and that's true one play he dribbled the ball off his foot and the other play, I think the ball just got away from him, but it went to a Lakers. So that's true. He could have had two turnovers there. But he still, he he just, he played a, a, a kind of just a more controlled version of his game. And it, he, there's times where he needs to play that way. In fact, a lot of the times he needs to play that way. Not because he, we don't want him to score, but because, first of all, minimize the mistakes minimize the turnovers and then once you do that then work within that frame uh, that framework Find, figure out what you can do within a lower risk game work on your shots get yourself open work on moving without the ball and so on and so forth so I'm actually even though the Lakers got crushed in this game, I, I'm okay with this game. I, I didn't think the Lakers were going to win this game. It's a back-to-back -back in one of the hardest places to play in the NBA. And the Blazers are looking very good. They're not at full health, but they're they're getting there. So yeah, I was just kind of wanting to see how guys played and, and how Jeremy did. I thought he did well. Overall, I thought he did well. Not perfect, but pretty well. So I'll take it. And then let's, let's move on to the next thing from here. So, okay, that is it for the short video. I will be making a long video shortly. Stay tuned for that. In, in fact, we'll be talking some about the uh, Denver game in that video because I didn't get to make a, a long video for the Denver game. Sorry about that. I just, there's some other things I had to take care of. So, for now, thumbs up, thumbs down. Your comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you think Jeremy played well? Or do you agree with some other people who feel like he didn't play that well or he was too passive, so on and so forth? Uh, let us know in your comments below. I want to thank Gary Chen for the artwork you're looking at. Gary's a artist and blogger in Taiwan who is a member of the Jeremy Only Lynn Garden fan group, which is a great, great group of people that is based in Taiwan but has members all over the world. We will include Gary's facebook information in the video description below the video player so you can go and check him out and say hi and look at some of his other great artwork also in the video description information so you can check out highlights of this game and how you can come and join the conservative new media facebook group and how you can come and follow us on twitter as well we love talking with people there and love to come and meet you and talk with you there also once again, I am PFE Paul F. Villarreal, the NBA expert. Thanks a lot for watching Conservative New Media. We strive to be the number one Jeremy Lin YouTube fan channel. Look, expected loss. I mean, the team's not doing that great. We're in the tank zone, and Magic's talking, Magic Johnson. So, But I think that there's a lot of positives Jeremy can take from this game. And, again, Portland's one of the best defenses in the NBA. It's not easy to face them. So let's move on. We're heading into the All-Star break now. So Jeremy and the team will get a rest and hopefully looking for better things 
after that all-star game break. Okay, talk to you soon in the in the long video. Take care. Hope you have a great night, a great day, wherever you are around the world when you check out this video.